Imagine you had a cryptocurrency wallet with over $10,000 and you forgot your password. Millions of people all around the world use cryptocurrency to control their finances, but many forget their passwords and even throw out their wallets. And if you don't have your password, all of your money is gone. Unfortunately, that's the problem we're dealing with right now. My friend created a crypto wallet six months ago and the password he wrote down is wrong. So today, I'm gonna try to hack his wallet and recover $10,000. All right, Mike, tell me what happened. About beginning of this year, I installed my first Cardano wallet. My laptop started getting buggy, so I got a new laptop, went to set up my NAMI wallet again, entered in my seed phrase, and the seed phrase was wrong. In order to hack a crypto wallet, we need to understand how they work. Crypto wallets use public-private key encryption to secure your funds. The public key is given to anyone that wants to send money to your wallet, while the private key is kept secret and is used to sign transactions when you want to send money from your wallet. Hacking someone's private key from their seed phrase is normally impossible because guessing one password is hard enough. Now imagine guessing 24 in a row. But luckily, we have some significant hints from my friend that I think we can use to perform the hack. So I'm looking at my seed phrase, and I wrote it down in four rows of six words. So it's a 24 word seed phrase. And notice that the second and third row both start with the same word. This is extremely critical information. It means that in order to perform the hack, we can replace each of the two words with a word from the 2048 allowable list. If I can write a program to automatically replace the words, we only need to try 4 million combinations. This is enough combinations that my computer can handle easily. However, we might have a sneaky problem. If my friend secretly messed up a third word, we would need to try over 180 billion combinations in order to hack the seed phrase. If that happened, my friend's funds are gone. Let's get coding. Eh, not like that. Unlike in the movies, coding is a meticulous process. Any small, tiny detail could go wrong and mess up the entire hack. The last thing that I want to happen is to build an entire solution that's almost correct, but just barely misses the seed phrase or skips over the proper word so the hack totally fails. I came up with this code to perform the word replacement. Let's see it in action. I don't return after it does, so. Boom. Bamboo, that's the word. Yeah. Bamboo, I think that is the word. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Way there was that same word twice. I was very suspicious. <laughs> All right, let's not celebrate yet. Let's make sure everything works first, because like we could have just hacked someone else's wallet. <laughs> That's unlikely, but you know. That's unlikely, but you know. All right, bamboo. That is different than before. What has been created? Let's see what I've got. Let me just see. Where can I see my address? Uh, it should be under receive. Is it showing me I have no ADA, but I definitely should have ADA. Any small, tiny detail could go wrong and mess up the entire hack. We just find like a another. <laughs> yeah, this is a different wallet. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> there's, there's no transactions in it, ever. Yeah. This is a major problem. We actually found someone else's wallet instead of my friend's wallet. But of course, we didn't actually find someone else's wallet. What we found was another combination of words that produces a valid wallet, but a wallet that no one ever found before. Since the number of combinations of words in a seed phrase is 2048 to the 24 power, it's statistically impossible to find someone else's actual wallet, but not a potentially valid wallet. But just in case, let's try another word. All right, I think it's capable. I now capable sounds right to me too. I'm, I'm feeling good about this one. It's, it's got to be capable. It was not capable. It's not looking like this one. That's. And I, I look even dumber now thinking <laughs> that was the right word. <laughs> we're gonna try this method for about ten more wallets, but unfortunately, if those don't work, we're gonna have to try a much more complicated method. Yeah, I'm looking like another nothing. Wow, <laughs> it doesn't look like those words were correct. I really thought I could hack the wallet and recover my friend's funds, but there might be something I'm doing wrong. 
because our system is detecting potentially valid wallets, it's likely we're going to find hundreds of false positives as the hack continues. When I first started the hack, I thought this would be a case of searching for a needle in a haystack. If I search long enough, I'm going to find it. But now it's turned into a situation where there's dozens of haystacks and hundreds of needles and only one with the golden needle. All right, here's the plan. Unlike Bitcoin, Cardano supports non-fungible tokens, or NFTs. Non-fungible tokens are cryptographically secure tokens that are guaranteed to be unique. A lot of people attach images to them, and that's where the right-click save meme came from. But it turns out, if we know that an NFT exists in someone's wallet, we can query the Cardano blockchain to find the address that the NFT exists at. Since we know some of the NFTs in my friend's wallet, we just need to look them up on the Cardano blockchain, and voila! We found my friend's address. We're in a good position because you've only ever used one address on this wallet. If we loop through all of these words and it does find this wallet, then we'll know for a fact this is correct. Now that we know the public address we're searching for, we're going to use a double loop on the two duplicate words. What this means is we start with the first duplicate word and replace it with the first word in the crypto word list. We then replace the second duplicate word with each of the 2048 words in the crypto word list until we find a match. If we don't find a match, we go back to the first duplicate word and replace it with the second word in the crypto word list and repeat the process again. This will result in our computer trying over 4 million combinations. This algorithm is slow, but if any of the two duplicate words are actually incorrect, we will find out. Here's the code for this attempt. Let's see if it works. Wow, this is unbelievable. It looks like those two duplicate words might actually be correct. With this information, we can deduce that there's at least one other incorrect word in this seed phrase. In order to find it, we're going to attempt one final hack. This final hack will have two stages. The first stage has us replacing each of the 24 words in the seed phrase with words from the crypto word list. If only a single word is incorrect, we're going to find it. The second stage is the exact same as the first stage, but we also replace the duplicate words with words from the crypto word list. This way, we can determine if one of the duplicate words and another word in the seed phrase are both incorrect. This is our final attempt. If this fails, my friend's funds are gone forever. Here's the final code for the hack. Let's hope this works. Oh yes. my god, yes. we got it. Yeah. Wow, we got it. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Oh, oh, well done. My god. Well we done. got the wallet. Wow. Yeah. Was, it? was it the second to last word? <laughs> it was the second to last word. Oh, I was starting to get hard about it. I know what happened. So instead of the word stick, you put the word sick. I'm so happy we were able to recover the wallet from my friend. Make sure to subscribe. See ya.